say my name and gain my power. Okay. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Onyx here, going full nerd. Yo, over the past couple of weeks, I'm going to tell you, the internet trolls, they've gone back and forth about going to see the real Captain Marvel. All right? Now, true comic book fans understand the history and reason for the name change and legal history of the character now known as Shazam. So, let's talk Shazam now. This has been marketed as the superhero version of Big. So, the dark and gritty superhero fans on the internet started freaking out. All right? Although this movie doesn't come out until April 5th, I was lucky enough to see the Fandango early preview screening. Now, I get really nervous when things like that happen. So whenever you do early screenings, it makes it feel as if studios are trying to get ready and make excuses about any shortcomings to a movie prior to the movie coming out. So that was the first thing on my mind. I was like, mm, maybe, but I'm going to do it. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Shazam was an enjoyable film. And it did a whole lot in a little bit of time. So as a long time comic book collector, I enjoyed a lot of the Easter eggs that go back to the character's early stories and incorporates some of the more recent storylines as they reimagine the character in comic books. The special effects, they were on par for a film that cost approximately eh, $100 million to make. Okay, I still have issues with the muscle suit worn by Zachary Levi. Levy? Levy? Levi? Well, you know. But let's talk about the good point. Aside from a couple of dry jokes, there were decent performances by Mark Strong, Zachary Levy, and especially I liked Dylan Grazer, the guy, the kid, the kid that played Freddie Freeman. All right. So what does your boy Onyx give Shazam? All right. I could care less if I seen this movie in IMAX. Not sure if it would be available in 3D, but basically you won't need any of that to enjoy the movie at all. There are two post credit scenes in the tradition of superhero movie trends, with one of them potentially setting up a sequel if the movie does well. It does take place in the DC Extended Universe continuity. I know DC Extended Universe is gone, but oh well. But exactly where it sits is difficult to place, and truthfully, it doesn't matter at all. Take your kids to a matinee. There are a couple of dark parts that some younger kids may flinch, but overall, it isn't a bad film. I actually give it a 3.9 out of 5. I would have given it a full 4, but casual moviegoers may have some trouble following the story along because they don't know the history or the origin story ahead of time that would get them going, oh, okay, oh, okay. But anyway, that's my spoiler-free review two weeks early of Shazam. Yo, remember, check out the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash goingfullnerd. Check out the podcast on anchor.fm slash goingfullnerd or look for Going Full Nerd on iTunes and Spotify. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit it with a like, hit it with an applause, or whatever you got to do to show that you watched it and appreciated my point of view. And as always, if you can't say something nice, don't say it, let me say it. Peace, y'all, and I'm out of here.